I have friends who are older than me yeah. who still get the text at 2am where are you, where are you, where are you come on now, 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 <laughs> oh, now, now, now where, just oh, because okay, yeah, we're you? still living under my roof so yeah. it's my rules Hey everyone and welcome to The Hot Pot, a podcast where we hop into different pots of spaces people find themselves in during life transitions. I'm Q. I'm Nick. I'm Joey. And today we have a very special guest, Brandon. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm Brandon. I teach yoga day to day and also curate a lot of like wellness um, festivals as well as, you know, other wellness activities. Wow, yeah. Brandon, from your intro alone, I knew you, you taught yoga. Like you have a very, very zen, zen vibe. Is it oh, the shirt? It the holy the shirt. It's the vibes, like the cues. You know, can you teach him to be a bit more Am zen? I not zen? No. no. The girls say Look at it. the re- resounding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before we segue too much, Q, what are we talking about today? Mm. Today's topic is about moving out. Mm. Something that I can't relate to because I'm still not paying rent. Same. Living under my parents' roof. What about you guys? I'm staying with my fiancé in our own place now. Mm. But I actually moved out of my parents' place like many, many years ago. It's nearly 10 years already. Wow. How come? Uh? After years. I ORD my previous relationship, uh, we were going to settle down also. So we also moved into our own place. Didn't work out. Mm. Also after it didn't work out, then I was renting um, like a small place, like staying by myself for a while, very, very short while. Then after that, I met my fiancé. Joey, you said that you're married. Yes. Why are you not moving out yet? Well, it's a bit uh, a bit of a conundrum. My <laughs> husband is American. <laughs> mm. We decided like to close the gap. Eventually, we will move to the US. But I wanted him here. I kind of want to, you know, finish up in Singapore before I like uproot my life and go. So he moved over and we're living with my dad. Um, and it makes more sense to live with my dad, one, because he has the capacity to house us. And yeah, my dad is more than happy to house us we have the space so we're very very fortunate in that way yeah right so brendan how long have you been, been living with your living partner alone or oh, with my partner mm. maybe about two two plus years yeah mm. and then i mean just before that was with a friend so what happened. was the reason yeah. for for you moving out oh was there a trigger actually not really a trigger but yes we do get triggered like sometimes staying with your parents right mm. and it's nothing personal it's just really like like I'm your mom and I care for you and that's why sometimes it rubs off the same, you know, a different way. Mm. But for me, it's like you have that own space where you can do what you want to do and you have that space where you can really rest. Sometimes when you go home and then, you know, my mom wants to talk to me, right? Mm. And then it's like you feel like, uh. you feel bad if you can't (laughs) talk to her at the same time (laughs) and catch up on, you know, the day-to-day things and you're always so tired because I want to rest. So I know I feel, I feel like staying out for a while already. Just, we make time, like just really going home for dinner and we catch up and everybody has such a good time because you Mm. realise that you don't have much time. Mm. Let's really catch up and and have the best time we can. Actually, I find that after I moved out like those years ago, right? Mm. I I think since then, I have not argued with my parents a single time. Wow. It's a stronger a relationship, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 I think yeah. it's important because you've established like boundaries with, with one another. Yeah, mm. I mean, but all along, they were very like, you do your own thing kind mm. of thing. But like even minor disagreements, like now you don't have them. Because yeah. all those small, small like points the of contention yeah. or yeah. triggers. Yeah, like, all, like, like the toilet paper, right? First, okay. What's Are you out or in? Or in? Or in? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Is like the toilet paper is this way or is it this way? This way. No. No. Huh? It's supposed to be that this way. way. Yeah. But always break. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the first time we agree. Yeah, yeah. that's why. Right. Okay, 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 listen. You one ply on I can go both ways. <laughs> so oh. I'm not commenting. <laughs> okay, okay. Is he talking about toilet paper? Mm. Okay. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. Okay. No, so the thing is, right, the toilet paper cannot have like three or more squares. My mother my mother said cannot. Means like come Too long lah. Too long. She's like, why you cannot roll it up? Must scroll back, wow. yeah. Oh. yeah. Wow. She's scared the toilet paper touch the floor. Like wet. Uh, touch oh. the floor, then no, wet. No, not touch the floor. Like you wash your hand, right? Hand like gonna like, gonna like, like, then she'll, she'll not have to. Oh. So things like that. It's a small thing. Yeah, small yeah. things yeah. that yeah. build up yeah. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. you just have friction with your parents over For the nothing, years. right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. You know, mm. I realised uh, all the problems, yeah. right? They always say like, next time you got your own house, then you can live yes. the way you want. Agreed. So I think that's why people Agreed. are like, okay, then I'm going to get my own house and live yeah. the way I yeah. want. So we don't need to fight and affect our relationship with mm. all these like trivial things. Yeah. So yeah. actually on, on that note, right? Why do you all think more and more young adults are like looking to move out? Is it because of these sort of things? or <laughs> The toilet paper. <laughs> the toilet paper, eh? Like, <laughs> Yeah, I have had it like I think Asian parenting is different 
Okay. You know, compared to now, like when in the life of social media and everything, like you see and you live in Netflix, mm. you live in Korean dramas and everything, and like a lot of life seems, you know, so much more accessible that way. But Asian parenting, I mean, it's a great thing because we are so close with our parents. Mm. Nothing wrong with that, right? But you feel like sometimes you're over man, like micromanaged, like every oh. part That's you're true. always seen. You know, small things they have to say, even like for girls mostly, because I don't have that with my mom, but my sister has that with my mom's. Like, you know, like small things, my mom would be like. Why are you wearing that? Oh Can my god, I was gonna that, say, then, you know? yeah, yeah, the way you like wherever wow. you're wearing when you leave the house also. Yeah, then sometimes I'm like the judge, I'm like, actually this is fine, mom, it's nice. Or mm. like sometimes mom really, you know, Charlene, come on, change. But I think at this age, no, yeah. uh, not so much. Uh. You'd be surprised. Mm. I have the friends dad? who are older than oh. me yeah. who still get the text at 2 a.m. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Come on now, 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 now. Oh, now. But we're in oh, yeah. already. It's the spam kind, you know, like it's like now, 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 now. Then Wow, okay, Until yeah. they're married, right, or something, or they be- moved just out. Just because you are still together. living under my roof, so yeah. it's my rules, which is fair. I think yep, it's yep, fair. Yep. My mom yeah. has that thing also, but mm. I feel it's. My mom always tells me like it's not about anything. It's so that I can sleep with a peace of mind because mm. you're coming back to my home. Yeah. So I see it from her perspective. Yet sometimes when you're in it, it becomes quite triggering because sometimes you just forget to text them and you're in the mm. moment, right? Mm. Yeah. Actually, okay, now Same. this no has boss. brought back a flashback to like when I was in NS. It reached, uh, my parents would rarely ask me la, like where are you that kind of thing because mm. you guy la? yeah because I'm a guy la. <laughs> true but it would, sometimes there'll be like because the days where I book out then never come mm. home right then yeah. if I never tell them like where I am then sometimes they will ask like it, it coming home soon that kind of thing mm. also they ask in a very nice way but like almost like they're a bit paise to ask oh, okay. It's like, okay, they don't, don't want to be the overbearing don't want, yeah, parent don't want to yeah. disturb yeah. Like, then, so I also yeah. feel a bit bad I was like, oh, I will. then from them, that point onwards then I would tell yeah. Tell them like if I'm not coming home, like mm. kind of thing. I think but it's a bit nice. of like house Reverse etiquette. Yeah. You know, it's it's, very it's nice. like it's not that they want to control you. Yeah. I'm just trying to put myself in the shoes of mm. the parent. Like because you're living with me, your safety is technically my responsibility. Mm. And I'm like the keeper of the house, right? Yep. So until everyone at home is accounted for, yeah. I feel like I can't relax. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's just yeah, very yeah. simple, just like, hey, I'll be late tonight, don't wait up. Yeah. Or like, I'm not coming home tonight. Mm. And then done. Aside from the the points that we just mentioned, I feel like it's also having personal space mm. and privacy mm. and um, I think noise. In noise my uh. instance, right, my dad likes to play mahjong. Oh. <laughs> so I think like it's a bit um, difficult to navigate that, especially when you know they pay for everything. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yep. And then you, can, you cannot possibly say like, hey, quiet there. Eh. Well, that's a <laughs> very true. like, yeah. like more... Practical yeah. reason, uh, rather yeah. not a lot of people move out because like oh okay like mentally and emotionally reason. you want your own yeah. space, but like sometimes it's like eh, noisy uh. and quality of sleep Because yeah. sometimes yeah. I think for you your job is like really non-stop. Yeah, as in sometimes I do it. work from home and then mm. that affects things. So yeah. I oh, okay. I actually at one point of time I did consider wanting Co-working. to move out. No, also because you stay like super far away from yeah, I the say, world. Yeah, um, I super west. Let's yeah. just say that <laughs> super west. <laughs> Sup- it like, takes like one hour. Okay, that joke a bit overdone. Hey. <laughs> but oh yes, I, I mean I did consider that, but we Brent is crazy now la. Mm, it, is, it is. It's crazy. the crisis yeah. is, is a bit nuts. Also, if like you're single, then you got nobody to share with. I feel like if your living situation is not like affecting your quality of life, mm. it's a bit pointless to move out because it's like wasted money. You can use the money, save the money mm. for a house or like rent in the future. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. But I think like in context to like why younger people are thinking about moving out now more so than when we were young, I feel like it has to do with the rise of the importance of mental health. Yep. Like they are prioritizing mm. their own space, their boundaries. Like we are learning that we can set the tone for our relationship with our parents. Mm. And that's why they're like, okay, you know what? I'm going to find my own space and then still have the opportunity to cultivate that relationship with my parents even though I'm away. Like, yeah. it doesn't look like a, like, I'm going to leave my house now. Yeah. I, I'm ungrateful. It's more like to protect myself yeah. and our relationship. Correct. If you have the ability to, I feel like a, a lot of young people yeah. are doing that now. It's like you engage with and maintain a relationship with your parents and your family at a, at a pace and on terms that you are comfortable with. Yes, like. it's yeah, no yeah, longer yeah. like a, uh, I, I cannot move, no, like, my, I'm, I'm not married yet I won't move like yeah. for us I never thought about moving out until mm. marriage yeah. mm. but it's a very different time now yeah. and I feel yes, like and all the living alone diaries on mm. YouTube and I feel like it's romanticizing being alone which is right. great I think it's very important to yeah, it's like independence to find independence thing as well. yeah. Yeah. 
Western culture is very interesting also. Because uh, mm. for us, it's like, if you tell people that you're 24, 25 and you move it, move out, it's a big deal already. Like, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But then like there, it's like, yeah. they, you finish college, they kick you out. Yeah. Parents don't need, it's like, you are out. It's like, like 18, you're out. And if you, I think I've own. heard where like, some of my friends from, from the States and stuff like that, if they're still living with their parents or if they move back in, right, they yeah. must pay rent. Eh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So for sure. Parents for sure. Really, like, and, you it's, must... and it's a bit embarrassing, yeah, right, yeah, in their culture. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, if you want to bring like a, a date home, uh, then it's like, if you live with, you your, live parents. with your parents. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? From my friends in America, it's very common now because of the living uh, crisis. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. it's changed. Okay, so Brandon, what do you <laughs> enjoy most about living independently? Because the question oh. does not apply to both of them. Like living alone after thinking back, it's really about like not letting my mum stay up and worry. She's those kind who really oh. want me to oh, text her because selfless. she really cannot sleep. Yeah. Like, very no, selfless. if I think back, if we'll I think back, that. but that <laughs> is really me. Kid. Yeah, no, because my mum really, and she will just text me even if I'm out and she will wait. She's not those like, where are you? Why you don't? Then after I feel very bad. Because sometimes I really just am so busy and I just forget the text. Mm. But I think it speaks a lot that yeah. you feel bad and not annoyed. Yeah. It speaks no volumes. I mean, but some days we got the annoyance. Don't need right? to say never, never mind. You know? In camera, we say never. <laughs> there, man. Yeah. No, you have your days now. Wow, but hi. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while now. So it's like, you know, you learn to appreciate a lot of all these things. Mm. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah, that's how I feel. What about you, Nicholas? <laughs> wow. No. Because Joey like and I can't answer you this question. You are the one who asked the question. <laughs> I feel like my answer them live now. <laughs> I like, just be truthful. I like that nobody. Like, if I eat something halfway, I put it in the fridge, nobody will take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite food territorial. Oh my god, are you the kind who get angry? No, but I'm, I I will say la, like, oh, okay, inside the fridge, got so and so can eat. Like, you know. Oh, so you must give permission. La. You have to label already. No, but I will ask also. So it's like, hey, this one is it like, you know, no, but okay, but for both of us, like, doesn't matter lah, because mm. I will make sure that... She's like, well fed. Yes. Yes. There's an abundance. But then like, sometimes it's like, if you are in a big group setting, like mm. six, seven, eight people in a household, mm. that kind, yeah. right? Then sometimes like you buy something, then you're like, wow, I'm going to save this for like when I like having a bad day. Mm. Then you go to the fridge, then it's not there. Oh, can relate. Yeah, so that's why I like most about <laughs> living in <laughs> Good job. Yeah. I, I feel like if I were to ever live alone. You will, Q. You yeah. will. Yeah. Eventually yeah. when you do. Eventually, yes. The one thing I'm looking forward to is them lim. It's more lim than yours. No, my dog and like. No, I want to decorate my house. No, oh my I, I think that's, that's not. Lame. I think I think my lame. No, no, no. Everybody <laughs> loves that. Yeah, yeah. I have and a fun. Pinterest board. Yes. Yeah, everybody got Pinterest board. Dream home, but I don't know when it's gonna happen. Soon, manifest. no, it will happen. Manifest, manifest. it, manifest it. Okay, tonight I touch know. my crystals. <laughs> <laughs> manifest. No, I, I was gonna say our place that we live in now. Yeah. We got it recently, like just at the cusp of COVID. So we ID'd the whole place. We ID'd until very wow, nice, okay? Nice. Then he go and buy the Shopee, like the hook, right? Then the, the, <laughs> the hook got like cartoon one. Like, <laughs> Don't spoil it. No, is it also like the S hook? No, no. You know, it's just like plastic, like really very, it's very oh. strong, right? Yeah. But, you can, very strong. but you can buy the plain one, right? Oh my goodness. So what are you so looking funny. forward to when you actually have your Okay, own I will say this. I don't like putting clothes on immediately after I shower. I, mm. I don't okay. like this. So the naked thing lah. Yes. Hot so when my dad is out of the country, mm. oh, love. And okay, disclaimer, it's illegal to walk around your house naked. Yeah. If other people see you. It is, it is. You close if everything. other people see you lah. Oh, okay, so if okay. you cover That's then true. behind closed doors, like, they don't know. But okay. I, yeah, I don't like wearing... Yeah, I agree with clothes. that. Uh, no, no, no. It's not... I, don't sound like this for no context. No context. Uh. I don't like wearing clothes after shower. <laughs> I will say very quickly. No, then really. Cannot, very, like, hot, cut. very hot. No, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I like to be in the aircon air. and then dry my hair. Yeah. And then, because yeah. long hair, mm. then your t-shirt is wet. Oh. You know what I mean? You yeah. cannot get, no, it, I get it. No, I get it. Bec- but I cannot avoid that. Or I mean, oh, even yeah. just a big t shirt yeah, with no true. pants. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's very hard. So. If my, my father comes home, I would dart one. I would like, yeah. like no, I would pull my shirt. You feel so awkward. <laughs> yeah. no, after shower, I understand. You know what's the one thing for girls, right? They wear shirt, right, without bra, then you must let it. Oh my god, you must do the hunch. You must hunch, right? Yeah, so yeah. that your Why shirt yeah? doesn't stick to your chest, right? Then so you go and poke at like oh, where it's there. Okay. I think oh. I get it. You don't point at people, yeah. you know? Very visual. Yeah, I don't So like when I go to the kitchen, wash my hand, I'm like, hey, hello, pa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like that, right? And I'm like that also. Because I never wear pants, then I must like... <laughs>
<laughs> wow, struggles. Oh my goodness, eh. The struggle so is real. The wow. female struggle. Okay, enough of our struggles. Okay, yeah, moving on. Let's go on. Yeah, let's go on. <laughs> this, is, this is damn funny. It's so entertaining though. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Hi, laughs> Dad. Well, Hello. You know. Should be a serious okay. apple. <laughs> moving on. When do you think is the right time to move out? I feel that when you're ready and you have to plan the practicalities. Financial stability. Yes, financial. Yeah. Like, mm. I mean, plan for your future. Lah. Don't like purposely because of this, then... You, mm. you just don't save the money and you pay like a lot. The rental now, the market is crazy. It is really not. And just for that sense of peace might dig other holes. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's, like you move it's really about balancing it. How stress from living with but then parents. You yeah. But then you stress. get financial stress. Correct. So yeah. you need to like weigh your options. Yeah. That's literally my friend's struggle. She doesn't mm. know like, should I move back with my parents and then literally fight every other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or find a place, but I can't really afford it. Mm. it that's a really difficult struggle yep, that is. I feel like a lot of people have. Yep. But I think a lot of people are choosing mental health over financial, yeah. stability. financial stability. And I feel yeah. that if it's really that bad, and I can't be there in that story, right? But some people really have it very mm. bad. Yeah. And they have it so bad that, like, you know, sometimes family feud comes and it's really dramatic. I've heard of big ones mm. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, in this case, then I would say, like, maybe you can find very like affordable rent by sometimes asking around as well friends and all these like can i do this for a while then until i find that or I find a yeah, proper yeah, job yeah. And so everything. even if it's temporary it's okay yeah right? mm. yeah i mean i think the yeah. most practical one would be once you hit a certain in- income level mm. you c- you share your friends or mm. yeah. then you, you like because it's, house, yeah like a few people to a house yeah. can the bright side is, I mean, you must make sure that there are people that you can live with. La. Yeah. But then the bright side is that, you know, it's also fun, right? In that mm. sense, to be mm. living with your friends and things like that. If you choose the right people. You must choose the right yes. people. This kind can like end of friendship. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. 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 That's why I asked, are you still friends with your best friend? Oh yeah, we now? are actually like still really, really like best friends. She's, if she's watching this, like she'll know. Because like... But I think you're very easy going. Like you're very easy I, to live uh, with. I mean, it's, like, but you see, you yes know, but, and no. Because like let's say I'm very easy going, right? Yeah. And let's say you're not so easy going, I can, like, let's say something which doesn't mean anything to me might trigger you. Like, oh. he's not caring about this there, why he doesn't care. Mm. So it might trigger some people, even though I don't mean it. So I was trying to help, you know, some days she cooks for me still, I tell you, I'm amazing. Right. And in a lot of ways, it's like kind of looking out for each other and just really yeah, having a good yeah. friendship. But then again, I've also heard a lot of horror stories. Yes, so, that's why it's like yeah. scary. Like with friends. Uh. Yeah, with friends also. Mm. Like, we're very surprised. close friends, but you just Yeah, like you think like yeah. you know them, then you live with them and you're like... It's like oh travelling. Like sometimes you travel and then you see the habits and you're like, what's yeah. going on? Mm. Because all these things can build up like paying off the groceries, small mm. thing, two people living together as friends. You need to talk about everything. It's just like a proper relationship. What about age? You yeah. think it, like in terms of right time to move out, is there like a... In Singapore's context, la, with you know our standard education system and things like that, like I housing feel like policy. Now is a yeah. good time for me to move out. 20, 20. Is that something you're considering? Mm. As in, I I did think about it for the last, I mean last year, oh. mm. due to family reasons. Mm. But I think we've resolved the family issues, mm. Mm. so it's it's not as urgent anymore. But I think it's also just having my own space, lah. Yeah. And I do think that in some ways I am quite sheltered because. Like I said, my mom cares about the toilet paper. Yeah. So there are other things that she cares about, like yeah. when to do the laundry, yeah. when to fold That you do clothes. need to think about, right? Yeah, yeah, and she does. She likes things done her way. Systematic. Yeah. Yes, uh, correct. So, so it's just done for you. In some sense, yeah. Mm. So most of the chores, it's kind of covered. I mean, I had a conversation with my colleagues before and then they're like, huh, you never do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, but a big thing. Yeah. it's a big thing. Oh my no, 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 but but yeah. it's not because I yeah. don't want to. It's my mum. She, yeah, as in she, she has her way of doing laundry. It's her routine too, yeah. right? But as I don't blame her. But I think because of that, I just realized like, oh, I'm not as adult as yes, other think. people. Yeah. Oh, you know, okay, okay. on the point for, for point about laundry, actually, it made me realize that like after moving out, then I really fully utilize all my clothes. Mm. So last time before you even like get through like two or three shirts, Next. right? Then you hey, come back already. Next one, yeah. Yeah, yeah but then after yeah. you move out, you mm. really were like, wow, yes. go through. And you that. shop differently too. <laughs> I only buy clothes that like don't need to iron. Good. Right? I also do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are some disadvantages of moving out? Financial stress or mortgage. Mortgage or like rent, la, whichever. You... Now one bedroom, about 1K, right? One 1K. bedroom in, like, yeah. inside a house, la, like you take the room only. Yes. I think more. Uh. No, more. I saw on Facebook, it's like one one five one eight also here. Yeah. But aside from that, it's just it's, it's just mainly financial. I think your quality of life improves in terms of having your own space, but then 
you might need to compromise in other, on other aspects law like oh okay la, like, do I should I go and eat out this this week or should I go on this holiday that kind of thing commercial break time the question for what? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get our guests to answer one question my questions. first what is something popular that you refuse to get into? Mm. Honestly, TikTok. Because, oh. yeah, mm. now like Instagram, TikTok, then for me, it's like, I don't know, it's too many things. Mm. Then I just just refuse to get into it. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> we respect that. Yeah. yeah, we respect. May not understand, but we respect. We respect. Yeah. What is your best and worst trait? Ooh, I think my best and worst trait is the same thing. Is that I'm very empathetic. And it ends up being my downfall. You good until not good. Eh? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's actually a, no. <laughs> I honestly feel like sales, it's a blessing yeah. and a curse to be mm. like overly empathetic because mm. you tend to feel things that you shouldn't even feel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who in the room would you like to get to know better? I think Brandon. Oh. Brandon got a good vibe, like very sharp. Let's go. Uh. It's okay. We're done. Uh, not Come. that y'all don't have a good vibe, but Your turn to pick. you think you want to get to know you, man? It's a very <laughs> Very big contrast to, uh, I think, my own personality. So I think very interesting. La. Q, I know too long already. Then what Joey la? keeps insulting me. What is an ick of others that you can't stand? Ick. Oh my gosh. Okay, I dated someone that said, that will message, the. <laughs> oh. Okay, so in well, Mandarin, right? Wrong, but what do we like, explain in, 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 in English? It's, a, it's from Mandarin. It's like la. that one one, like that one. No, uh. if you do it, then just don't take Q, la, okay? Yeah, it's okay, <laughs> one, la, but... It, it was truly an ick, la, and I looked past it. And it ended, I should have seen the red flags. Yeah. No, la, okay, it's not a red flag. Like, you it's see not the red sentence, flag. how? I cannot, I cannot, please don't say it. You got an example. It's not like that, the. Babe, babe. Okay, so let's hop back to the episode. Oh, cringe, eh? Actually, on the house, housework front, because for me, I went from with my parents, living with my ex, living by myself, um, fiancés, Fiance. parents, and then now two of us, right? Going from that, like, have to do housework to don't have to do housework, uh, because uh, my, my fiancé's parents, like, they, they have a helper. Mm. La. Mm. Wow, a that was like, I, I took that for granted, man, growing yeah, up. Really. Like, yeah, you, the clothes would just appear, mm. ironing yep. done. Then like 12 o'clock, you go downstairs, got lunch. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes like as an adult now, like working adult now, you were like, oh, if I don't cook or order something, got nothing to eat. Eh. Like, yeah. yeah. So you need to like, yeah lah. And if you don't buy groceries also. Yes. Yeah, nothing to eat. And yeah. groceries are so expensive now. Yeah. So that, that's, one, that's one thing that is a, I won't say it's a con lah, but you need to deal with that mm. lah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since you talk about the financial aspect, right? Mm. How do you afford it? Do you guys have any saving tips? Or how do you like, wow. you know, portion yeah. out your do salary? Do you actually save like six months worth of rent? Like some people say that's what you need. If you go and Google, there are, you know, some financial like advisors and gurus and all those like websites out there that will tell you, you shouldn't spend more than a certain percentage of your on that, income right? on mortgage or rent. And mm. you should have how much like saved up six months worth of rent mm. um, like in case you lose your job or you want to quit yeah. take a sabbatical that kind of thing know, then you at least don't have to worry about your immediate living arrangements mm. yeah so I was just wondering right how do you actually look for apartment now yeah. renting I think the bar is lower because you mm. don't need to like anything mm. you don't it's like okay, yeah, short term like, commitment yeah, yeah. short term commitment oh, okay. but price is the first one yeah. mm. so you set your budget first and then you have all these different like property portals, right? Your property guru, 99 Co. Oh, and there's so many other there's stuff. Facebook groups. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes the like, carousel also you can yes. rent house. Carousel really? You yeah. can buy cars on carousel too, by the way. You can, ah. you can buy house on carousel. Yeah, you can buy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. And I'm it's going to carousel legit. to look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Then re rental, usually like you, if you are the one renting, mm. you don't need an agent. La. Like, you can have an agent to help you go and look for the listings. But nowadays, online blogs got a lot of um, what you should look out for and things like that. Mm. Before my dad got his place uh, that we live in now, we had to rent a place for a year while we found... Like, because we had to sell our old house. Right. So we had a long period of about a year. So we went online. I tried Facebook. I looked at a bunch of different places. I actually even considered finding a place for myself too. Mm. Like, oh. I'm like, oh, is this a time where I can live alone for one year? Because my partner wasn't here yet. So okay. it's just me. Uh, then I looked at the, the rent and I'm like, yeah. oh, dad, let's find a place together. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help no. you ID. I think it's also different as a woman. Like, you yeah. want to find a place that is safe for you where your housemates 
are people that you are comfortable living with. Yeah. No shared bathrooms for sure. I knew that was yeah. something that I didn't want. So it was a bit difficult. Sometimes people like to bring people home. Then it becomes worse mm. than a mahjong thing. Yeah. So all these house <laughs> rules are very it's, important. It's true. Mahjong. This mahjong thing going to drag on forever. Yeah. <laughs> no, but for real. And, it is. and like, I had to think about all these things. Like, okay, do I feel safe? Yeah. Are, what are the other genders? And I realised there are gender-specific listings. Yeah. So yeah, female yeah, yeah. only. Mm. People male always look for only. female. Like, landlords generally prefer... Females. S- single female, they always say. Because they mm. don't want you to bring your boyfriend or who home or so. Yeah, that's true lah. And also with pets, like I have a dog. Oh, that's true. So I was looking for pet friendly place wow, and hard. there was really like Very none. Hard, right? And yeah. viewing is another thing. Like when you view the place. So we eventually got a one like first story place. Mm. Mm. Oh my god guys, if you have the opportunity right, don't stay first floor. Cockroach. Coco sleep with me. Yeah. Eh. Like, no, I'm not even kidding, right? Is it? One night thinking, I, I'm thinking. I was like, am I am I hallucinating? Because I saw my curtain like move a bit. Then I'm like, no, I don't think I'm this far gone in my insomnia. Like, there is something that moved. I felt a, like a thud. And then next thing I, how big ones, I yeah. felt something like crawl on my thigh. I scream right. <sighs> Until wow, now, traumatized I'm like, already, right? And it's like non-stop, you know. You find cockroaches, all the, like yeah. every because you're on first floor. Yeah, mm. we had no experience on first mm. floor living. That's why we picked it. If we had known, I don't think I would have done the same thing. Yeah. But it was easy, like opposite people were really very convenient. I think convenience yeah. is something that if you have the privilege to afford it, don't stay mm, in the west. That should be. Hey, <laughs> actually, I grew up in the west. Unless you work in the, in the west, I can unless you work right there. I'm Bukit Panjang kid, so it's not fun, man. Shut up. I'm right by the PIE entrance. So, honestly, convenience is so important. How it is. So how did you pick your current house? Was so, it convenience? Actually, I, was, I was like half laughing when you were saying that don't stay first floor because I, I stay in the first floor. <laughs> and I purposely... I oh yeah, purposely, you do. I purposely bought oh. first floor. I'm a plant guy. Like, I'm mm. into house plants. So I wanted um, either a like, ground floor or a penthouse. Because I wanted the outdoor area, like a sizable outdoor area. For the plants. So then when we were looking, then this particular unit, the outdoor area was quite big and the the layout was quite good. La. It was very squarish. A usual usual kind of thing. Like, wow, square layout, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, must be square. <laughs> yeah. There are definitely trade-offs in the sense that like sometimes a bit noisy. Yeah. Mm. But we purposely like, okay, cannot face the pool, cannot face like busy road, that kind of thing. So managed to find somewhere. La. Then the other reasons were very um very practical already. One was like, okay, cost. Yeah. So actually the way I did it was I start from like Orchard, right? And then you go like slowly 2km radius, 3km right. radius. At which point does it reach um, the uh, a point where where the property is under va- like undervalued? Um, That's interesting. Yeah. That's a very good tip. Yeah. Wow. So you just keep going out and it will, I can tell you like that 20 years ago, right? People, um, or like when we were growing up, people don't want to stay Bishan. Because like used no, to be so, so, it's so popular it's now. So yeah, used to be cemetery. People will be like, why oh. I stay Bishan when I can stay like Novena or Newton? Mm. But then after Novena Newton, full already too expensive, then people also end up go Bishan. Yeah, yeah. So what do you all think young adults will struggle with the most when moving out, navigating that transition? I think if I were to ever move out, I would struggle with loneliness. Is it because you have siblings and like or the noise at home? I think yes, because I'm used to having a, a ra- relatively big mm. family. I mean, mm-hmm. there's five of us last time. Mm. But generally, I do think that, you know, sometimes at night, and then you think about things, then you get really lonely. Yeah, oh. yeah I have the tendency. So for me also, because I'm quite close to my sister, so I would mm. pop by her room yeah. and then just talk cock. Talk what? Talk cock. Uh, oh, sorry, what again? Cock. Wow. C-O-C-K. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I think if I were to move out... If let's say I have a housemate or a roommate, I think it would help. But if let's say I don't want to hang out with them, like a housemate that I hate, you must oh, find a housemate eh. that also like they can pick up on your cues when okay, leave me alone. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's very personal, yeah. right? Cues. Especially uh, yeah, for cues, that. cues, 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 yes. cues. I think based on what everyone has shared, it seems that we've all been like super privileged to have very mm. understanding parents. And hearing you know from you guys, hearing from my other friends, it's really crazy the disparity from different parents because we all have different situations and I think it's important for us and everyone at home watching as well to be very mindful to not judge anyone for their situations. Everyone has different motivations for moving out or staying at home Mm. and it is a very sensitive topic. Um, So yeah, let's just like, hmm, be kind. (laughs) 
So thank you so much for watching this episode of The Hot Pod. If you like this episode, remember to like, share and subscribe. We are also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts and Me Listen. So don't forget to turn on your push notifications as well so you are notified when a new episode is up. And thank you, Brendan, for being here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Thanks, Thanks for having me. It was a great Such chat a with you guys. Zen presence. Yeah. That, <laughs> Such a nice break from Namaste. Like, your... Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, I'm cut, as well. cannot cut the screen here. Like this yeah. one, don't need. Edit him yeah. out. Yeah. It's so thank you only. again for listening. <laughs> and if you guys have any stories, please comment down below Ooh. and ask us questions. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. No, I I cannot before right like cause I I Can I get out, so huh? busy yeah. that like I don't keep up with my laundry. Right. Mm. Then. I thought it's full. Then I open, it's empty. I legit don't have any more. I need to go Uniqlo and buy to wear Trade on the same la. day. Eh. You won't buy new underwear, don't wash before. Hey, wearing, j- uh. Yeah, I need to wash it. Eh. Use panty liner. Eh. La. But sometimes both the end on. Or the disposable underwear. <laughs> <la>. <laughs>